Hello everyone, I hope you're doing well. So, in this video, we're going to talk how we can create an automatic translation of our videos. So, imagine that you are going to create a video in your language in this video, you want it to be seen by several targets, and you simply want to broaden your audience. So, it's simple, we call on artificial intelligence and it will create this for us automatically. But be careful, there are several tools on the internet, there are those which are. Some are free, while others are paid, but generally speaking, the free ones aren't effective and the paid ones are just too expensive. So today I'm going to show you a little bit. What software is available on the internet? And most importantly, I'm going to show you which one we can use, especially the one I recommend. It's a tool that will give us the ability to create unlimited videos for a fixed price. What's really interesting about this is that it's symbolic. We just pay a small subscription. And it's the one that takes care of everything without charging us every time we need a translation. And that's really, really interesting. So, the first tool is called CapCut. So, in CapCut, you can do automatic dubbing thanks to artificial intelligence. But the downside here is that there's no synchronization between the audio and the video. And that obviously causes a lot of problems. It's going to result in something that's not high quality. I'm going to quickly show you how it works with CapCut. I come here, for example, with my video. I'm just going to click here on Captions. And here, I can select the language. And I'm going to tell it, listen, I want you to translate. So everything that has to do with captions, everything related to subtitles, into another language. And I just click here, for the generation. As you saw, it's really very fast. So, there, in the blink of an eye, I can just see the captions. I can come here and delete, for example, the first language, or just hide it. And I can also come in, select this new language, and I can tell it that I want you to pronounce everything that's written here. But here, the constraint or the limit is that there aren't any agents to read it in multiple languages. For example, this is in English, it works. But if I have another language like Spanish or Portuguese, that's going to cause a lot of problems because there aren't any agents ready to read that text. So, suddenly, when I click here, I tell him I want you to generate audio for this new text. It's going to do it, of course, and it's really fast. But if you look down below, I find there's a bit of a lag. And there are also, of course, overlaps here between the different audios. As you can see, it's not able to sync today. It's true that for some countries, CapCut offers to do this in a completely autonomous way, but it's limited to just three minutes and also restricted to a few countries. So, this solution, even though it's free, I just can't go with it. As an initial solution, so, there's also another tool called Filmora. So that is a tool too. In fact, it provides this function. So, quality-wise, it's not the best, but still, it's good quality. I think it's better than CapCut, but it's not the best. That means I can't really rely on this tool to create a translated video all on its own. And also, this one, in fact, he will charge us according to the number of minutes of the video. So, if I take this video, I can right click. Next, I'm going to do AI translation. It's really easy to do. You see here, I select the source language and then my target language. So, obviously, there are a lot of languages I can use, and that's something I really liked. For example, if I do it in English, you'll see that it's going to ask me to consume 16 credits. So, each minute costs 16 credits, and I buy those credits. That means you just have to click here to feed it. So, I did the calculations with this tool. So, let's say the 60 minutes go somewhere on the fifth side of the... So here, I just choose the number of credits, the credit pack, and I use them. And so, suddenly, in the best cases, if I take the best package, it will rank me in the top 5 
so art the sixty minutes. And that, of course, remains to be seen because here, look, even if my video is only sixteen seconds, it asks me to consume sixteen credits because it is not going to take into consideration that it is less than a minute. So, if I do a minute in a second, it will automatically ask. 32, 32, 32, 32 credits. And that can really add up, especially if I have a lot of videos. So, we have the tool L, Labs. This tool is also very smart. Because here, I can go into the back office. I have an account here. There's just an option to do a full translation of your video. As you can see here, I've done a few tests. So, the limitation or constraint of this tool is that, first of all, it's the most expensive. You need to account for 60 minutes. About 10 euros or 10 dollars to make 60 minutes of video. Because it consumes a lot, does it charge double? If I'm going to convert text to audio, like video, to another language. It costs a lot more with this tool, but it's still a quality tool. I can the classic, it is better than Cap 4, better than Movie Aura, so, I find in Labs Wines that it has a good quality. But it's not the best on the market. But it's still really interesting to give it a try if you want. It gives you the chance to do practically 5 minutes for free that you can test out. It gives you 10,000 credits. You can just upload your video, here and, test it out. And you'll see the results for yourself. So now, the tool that offers the best value for money is Regene. Regene, why? Because it simply gives me the chance to do that unlimited. I get a package and it gives me unlimited access. And that is. It's just a link that I had to search a lot for to find on the internet because I tested it out a year ago. I know a little about the progress of this company and I know that it costs a lot per generation with their model. But here, when I just try, I'm showing you, in fact, when I try to add, for example, a file to create something, I'm just going to make the transaction to translate. I'm going to add a video to test it out. For example, here, I'm taking this video, right here, yeah, it's a video, that contains 5 minutes. And you'll see that when I click here, there are two options. And that's what interests me a lot, a lot, a lot. In fact, it's the ability to create in an unlimited way. And that's an option that's really important. I found that after a lot, a lot of searching. I'm just going to put the link in the description so you can get this version. And when I start, from the principle of unlimited that, it's very interesting. Especially for trainers who create a ton of courses and work with several online training platforms, for example, it's really important for them to have their content in multiple languages, and it's super, super effective. The only difference between this package, the only one, but there are still others, there is a package called Team. This one, for example, which I currently use, I can simply translate to five minutes because already, when I did the training, the videos, YouTube, I always have, or videos on Udemy. I always have small capsules, five-minute videos, and afterwards, I put them together. So even in my production, for me, my video, generally, does not exceed two to three minutes. And then, I do the editing. So, it's really interesting for me to stick to the five-minute mark when uploading videos. That's my average. And afterwards, there are people, in fact, for other tasks, for other programs. They can take another step called team. This one gives them the option to go up to 30 minutes or even have a much longer duration. Or even unlimited if there is an account called business. So that one simply gives me the ability to do that unlimited. I pay around $29 a month, which I think is very, very interesting. And so, suddenly, it's worth testing it. Besides, it exports with 1080p, so for me, it's more than enough. So, how does it work? It's very simple. I'm adding my video here. And here, I tell it to either automatically detect the language. So we're going to redo the process, or I can tell it, for example, this is my video. It's in that language. Then, I need to choose the language for my target audience. That means, imagine I'm going to do, well, with this language, I'm going to choose Arabic. And, 
For this video, of course, I can add my own voice here. And by applauding her, in fact, here. But for me, I'm going to leave it, the option, that it's going to work in Arabic, while keeping the optimization of my voice. So, it's going to try to do its best to match my voice. There's the option to select accents here, so each language will give you several accents, and you're free to choose the accent. But if I don't want to, I just leave the original accent, and that makes it more interesting. Then, how many people he talks about, because he's able to do the translation, even for a podcast. If there are two to three people speaking, then for me, it's just one person. The good voice, I can customize it, but I just leave it as default, and that's very important, that's what I like. It's the ability to dynamically sync the duration of the video. Because if you send a 5 minute video, it doesn't have to be exactly that long. The result will be 5 minutes, it can be less, it can be a little more him, so he will adapt the voice with. The video, he feels what is very strong with AI. There's the possibility to translate, which means this is. Especially for those who have no face. That means they don't show themselves in the video. It's interesting to take that option. But if you show yourself in the video, like me, for example, here, it is very important to take the option to do hypersynchronization. That means it's going to sync, basically, how you talk on screen. So, the lips are just going to follow the voice. And that's really important, so I'm not going to check that because automatically, it's going to take that into account. I can add captions if I want the rage jumps. Otherwise, simply put, it's very easy. There are advanced options to go a little further, but I advise you to leave the options as they are by default. There is the possibility, when you look here, even to remove the bagel anti music, but generally, for me, I do the cleaning. Before sending the video, I make sure the videos are clean without any background music. All that's left to do is click on Submit. And, honestly, in terms of value, for money, it's the best. Because here with this tool, you just pay the registration fee. So it's between $29 and you can go up to $69 a month. If you choose an annual package on another option, Team, which will simply let you work with videos that can be up to 30 minutes long for those who are interested in that. But, honestly, in terms of value for money, it's the best. The quality of sending the video is really good. I can tell you that it's the best on the market today. And in terms of price, we have not found any other solutions apart from IGN, which gives the option to buy just once. And you have an unlimited number of videos you can make. This is just a test version that I have right here in front of you. I obviously have other accounts, regional ones that are old that I've practically activated. There are a ton of my courses that exist on other platforms that are just translated today into several languages. Especially Spanish, Portuguese, Chinese, English, and Arabic. And that, of course, gives a larger audience. Thanks for watching this video, so if you have any questions, feel free to write to me in the comments. I'm doing my best to answer all your questions. And if you liked the video and want to see the next updates, feel free to subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much, and see you soon!